Here with head coach Ryan Pulley after the Terriers season opening win at Merrimack by a score of 15 to 12. And coach, just to get your general thoughts on today's game. Yeah, I thought, I thought both teams played really, really hard. I thought the energy in the game was tremendous, obviously. It was great to get back on the field. I think both teams felt that. Um, I'm just really proud of my guys. I mean, it was certainly a back and forth game. Uh, you know, Merrimack went up 4-2, and then we had the nice run into halftime, and um, then they come back and tie it, and then we go on the four goal run. So, uh, and then obviously, lastly, you know, they had the three goal run midway through the fourth to tie it 12-12 with three and a half to go. and. Um, to, to make the plays on the stretch uh, is certainly a sign of a, a really quality team. So really pleased. A uh, couple individual efforts. Uh, you know, I just got to shout out to Matt Carver. Uh, he's been waiting his turn behind McSorley, Lee, who's obviously was a, was a great tender for us and uh, gets his first opportunity and just plays lights out and, you know, definitely giving a game ball out to Matt. Um, you know, really happy with Vince and, and Lewis. You know, I think they've worked really hard in the offseason to kind of take their game to the next level. And, uh, you know, certainly Timmy kind of being the recipient of that on, on the back end with six goals. And, um, and and then I thought our defense at, at times did some really good things. Uh, we, we scored a bunch of goals in transition. We got stops and kills and got the ball off the ground. And our, our gun squad, who, you know, was our D-middies, made some plays. I thought we were really good in the ride. I thought Andrew Volk was, was this best collegiate game he's played. Um, I was really impressed with and worried about Merrimack's middies coming in. Um, and he did a really nice job on their middies, taking them away, uh, caused a few turnovers, and just had an excellent overall game. So overall, I mean, I think it's what we expected. Um, some, you know, some strangeness with just the, the protocols and just, you know, not meeting before the game and two separate, uh, you know, going into the locker room twice. And I think that took some away from just, you know, guys just feeling out, you know, the, really the first quarter and, and seeing how it goes. But at the end of the day, we needed to make some plays on the stretch, and our guys did that. So, so really pleased at, at the character that we showed. Merrimack ties the game with about three and a half minutes left, and then all of a sudden the game turned on its head with a face-off win, a quick goal by yeah. Vint, and then a big stop by Matt. How important was the message in that timeout for you as a coach, um, yeah. you know, to really make sure that game gets gets put away? And then secondly, talk about the guys stepping up in the in the big moments to get the win. Yeah, I, I got to give Merrimack a ton of credit. I mean, at multiple times, being down 7-4, coming back to tie it, and then we were up three again, uh, came back and tied, it, and then we go up, you know, fourth into the fourth quarter and uh, scored another goal to go up three, and then, and then they scored the next three. So give them a ton of credit for not quitting and, and making the plays to get back in the game. And, um, and when I called timeout, it was, you know, we typically make decisions. We go two huddles or one huddle, and we typically go two huddles to talk strategies on both sides of the ball. And, there, there wasn't really any strategy that needed to be discussed. The guys had to calm down, take a deep breath, uh, and we had to win a three and a half minute game. And you know, to, our, to Sean's credit, um, you know, I, I think Sean, Sean battled all day, uh, won some important faceoffs, and kind of the most important faceoff of the, the day, 12-12, with them having all the momentum, pushes it forward, makes a great read, makes a tough ground ball, puts the ball right where, where Vince can catch and shoot, and, and Vince. Uh, you know, made a terrific shot. Um, then they clear the ball, and then they get a good opportunity, and, and Garber comes up with the save. We get the ground ball clear, and then score in the next possession. So, you know, in crunch time, you know, we're going to play a lot of close games. Everybody in Division One can beat everybody. So, you know, we expect and, um, you know, typically find ourselves in one or two goal games. So plays are going to be need, needed to be made down the stretch. And really proud of our guys for stepping up and making those plays. Yeah, do you think having some experience, you know, having guys – you know, they only played six games last year, but certainly played some important games. You know, look back at that comeback against Colgate where they played big down the stretch. you think having that experience really uh, played to, to your advantage uh, down the stretch? I think defensively it, it did. I think we, we played, uh, made some key stops down, you know, in the late in the fourth quarter. And then certainly just Vince and Lewis getting all those times, um, you know, starting and, and getting those six games under their belt. And, uh, you know, certainly, you know, Timmy's only – you know, a sophomore and a half, I guess. So, um, you know, being out there and finishing all his shots and then certainly our midfielders, uh, you know, getting those opportunities to play last year. So, um, you know, like I said, I, I, I didn't expect the game to, to be clean or pretty. And uh, the only thing that we really wanted from our guys to play with a ton of energy and with a lot of heart. And, and I couldn't be more pleased with those two things from our guys.